guys welcome welcome let's have a look at uh, 2e this is about word skills and today we are going to study how we can transform certain words into different parts of speech now the word part of speech we can translate as uh, slovni druh and we are also going to check the dictionary and how we can study from a dictionary it will be very important now First, part of speech. There, there will be two kinds here that you will work with today a lot, and that will be noun and a verb. Now, noun we can translate as postatne mano, verb sloveso, right? No problem there. Now, there are some rules uh, that can help us to put the nouns into verbs and verbs into nouns. Unfortunately, most of the times uh, the rules will give us some patterns but we are not sure uh, or let's say we must remember mo many of these words all right we will check uh, the first exercise now this is where i want you to read the text all of it and then find the name of the person in the photo so here in the photo you see this guy what is his name and then do you agree with the theory at the end so at the end of the text uh, they uh, make a statement all right they say something important now my question is do you agree with it or disagree and you need to think of why all right you should write it down somewhere it can be either here somewhere on the book or just write it anywhere you want but uh, don't forget to put it together with uh, the other exercises into the picture now if you look here you will see that there in the in the in the text they have used a lot of interesting words and i want you to find their equivalent in in verb or noun so for example we have the verb attempt attempt is the same as to try so look for the noun that would be for uh, the noun that we make from the verb attempt okay you can find it in the text the same goes for completion what is the verb when you finish something? Completion is when you finish something. Uh, and then achievement, right? What are the verbs for this? So then when, we, when you finish this, look at the learn box. Over here, you will find some important theory that can help you with the word creation. There are important words I want to translate here for you. Now, some nouns are formed by adding a suffix. Now, suffix means psipona, okay? So at the end of the word, we just put some extra letters. And these typical endings can be with ment, er, and shun, all right? So there are some, uh, there are some examples. We have argue, argument, fail, failure translate translation all right then some nouns and verbs are identical they are the same thunder and thunder fall and fall in dictionaries related nouns and verbs sometimes appear under the same entry we will discuss it soon all right so have a look at this and you will be ready for the following exercises then over here is the dictionary work study the dictionary entries then answer these questions so uh i will just tell you very uh let's say i will just tell you some basics here over here you have the pronunciation here you have the part of speech here you have the explanation because they are not going to translate it in my opinion if you want to use the best dictionaries you should use the dictionaries that are used only in english there will not be a dictionary that will tell you the word in Czech it is very important because it is far more important to understand the word rather than to translate it because the word can have different meanings uh in uh, in a different language and it can also change meanings uh based on the situation or sentence that it's in all right so this is my favorite dictionary right here that i often use and let me show you some example let's say we will find the word the verb attempt we had it there all right, so here you will see a verb and you have a noun, all right? It's very similar to what you can see here. Now, attempt is also a noun. Here, you don't see the pronunciation, all right? So verb and noun over here, you write it the same way, but uh, you see that the pronunciation for the noun is not here. 
If it's not there, then it means that the pronunciation is the same. All right, you, you see it here, attempt, noun, and it is the same. So they don't want to write it again in this dictionary. Now in here, in the brackets, you will find uh, the letter C. I also have it here, all right? Now the letter C means it is countable. And if it's U, it is uncountable. Sometimes you will find situations when uh, it can be countable and uncountable. For example, this one. All right, it can be uncountable. It's U over here. And then it can be C, it is countable. All right. So even in English, sometimes words can be countable and uncountable. But they, it will change the meaning of the word a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. All right. So I want you to look at this entry from a dictionary and then uh, answer the questions here. One to four. All right. Let's continue in five. I want you to, of course, you cannot work in pairs, but feel free to work with someone from your family or with a friend. Uh, use a dictionary. Uh, go to any online dictionary that will not translate into Czech, all right? Go to go to this one, for example, Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. You will find this one. Uh, I would really recommend it. Now, find the nouns related to the verbs below. So find all the nouns that can exist with this one, all right? Sometimes there can be more more than one noun. And for example, we have entertain. So that means we need to create a suffix to this one. All right, we need to add some letters that will expand this word and it will create a noun. So you should do this one. It can also happen that the word will stay the same. All right, now, and if you look here, this is where you will try it in real life and try to use it so that in A and B, you will have a noun and a verb. You need to change the word here that is always underlined. So we have accomplish, that's the verb. Now, how do you make a noun from accomplish? You should write it here. All right, and the same thing with do A to B, employ, prepare, right? These kind of things. So this is for you to work on now. And uh, then I want you to create a short video or a listening as just some MP3 if you want. Just use your phone for that and upload it together with the photo. Check your answers to exercise six in pairs, and then you will tell me in this listening whether you agree or disagree with the sentences here. The sentences we're talking about are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You tell me if you agree or disagree and why. Don't forget to say why, all right? This will create a mark from all of this, from the student's book. So please, have a look at this, Finish, it, finish all the exercises and the following lesson we will work with the same chapter but with workbook. This will be your homework where you will not need me to explain anything. All right. So thank you so much for listening and I wish you good luck.